is Cooper from Telepathic Bunny Comics. Today we'd like to talk about the empty page. So here we are. Check it out. A word processor document of your choice. I use a ancient uh, copy of Microsoft Word myself just because I'm very comfortable with it. Um, I just haven't updated to something newer. But there it is. Look at it, look at it. The wide expanse. The possibilities. It's just inviting you to do something with it. It's like a pressure you feel when you see that. Um, feel me. There's too much space there. It's like your brain starts to like eat itself. Uh, you need to do something about that open document, you know? Well, everything starts here. Every possibility. Every place you go, every character you build, every world you create starts right here. Unless you like the old paper and pencil thing. Uh, some people do. Nobody writes with pen, so I'm not even going to talk about that. But there you are. Look at it. Possibilities are endless, aren't they? Now, where do we go? What do we do? Who will we be? You know, it's just sitting there, inviting you to do something. And uh, if it just sits there forever, and you don't ever do anything with it, then the journey never begins. But the journey always begins with one step. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. But you gotta take the step. You gotta decide. What's the story? Who? What? Where? How? <laughs> it's right there. Oh, gotta add this. To whom? That usually comes up. <laughs> it's all there. Just waiting to be filled. Just waiting for somebody to do something. Now, even if you just write gibberish or junk, even if it's just a story idea, just a, something for the document file, huh? I have plenty of seed, uh, seeds in the document file that every once in a while I'll plant one and water it and see what pops up. But you gotta start by writing. You gotta write. And you gotta read. You gotta absorb. But, see, if you never write, you never figure out who you are. Who am I? What is my style? What do I have to tell? See, that's the thing. I talked about removing yourself. Removing yourself from the story. And, and taking yourself out of the way. But eventually, once you do that, when you go back, you'll find that you're on every page. And your style will come out. Your word choice. The um, way you build your paragraphs, the way you uh, describe your characters. It's some of the things that are very distinctive. 
they will find their way back in. Now, in comic books, a lot of the prose is missing. But what will show up in comic books is dialogue. Plot. Characters. And situations. Have you ever looked at a comic book? And you didn't look at the cover. But you're a couple pages in and you're like, Oh, this is Alan Moore. Or... Hmm, this is Mark Wade, or, or this is uh, this is Frank Miller. You know, or somebody else uh, less notable that you enjoy. But, uh, well, I hate to put Mark Wade in with that group, but he is a heck of a writer. Uh, you know, every dog has his day. But... Here we are, empty page. That's where we start. That's where everything starts. That's where we're going to start. Get you an empty page. And fill it. That's where everything starts. If you don't write it down, then it will only ever exist in your imagination. You're like, well, I don't have the ability to write it down. I don't have the skill to write it down. Well, truth be known, uh, one of the problems we're having right now in the indie comic scene is that a lot of artists have chosen to become their own writers. And they never put into work as a writer. And it shows. The art's awesome as always. But someone who completely comes from the writing point of view, they will do nuances that someone who just started won't discover or won't figure out. I'm not saying that artists can't be a heck of a writer. Ethan Van Skyver's uh, Wrecked Planet was brilliantly written. I'm sure Rainbow Brute, when it comes out, is going to be awesome. And, you know, it's not saying that, that there can be crossover. I'm Frank Miller. Writes brilliantly. Well, then Alan Moore doesn't uh, doesn't draw. So, I mean, there's a crossover. But saying that writers don't matter, that an artist can just, pff, uh, anybody can write. Uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, I don't see John Malin writing his own stuff because he understands. You get somebody that knows what they're doing, and then you draw, or you tell them what you want them to, to uh, write, and then you draw off of that. And, uh, yes, writers can finish a whole entire script faster than an artist can draw a comic book. Yes, that's true. It's not as labor-intensive. But, you know, there are things that writers do. There are the ways that writers conceptualize that are different from what an artist does. And uh, comic book writers, the, the good ones, they have a movie in their head. They see these scenes in their head. And so the more accurately they can pr pass that on to the, the artist, the uh, better the comic book's going to be. But it all starts here. Empty document file, white expanse. Go somewhere. Do something. Write. Well, that's Cooper from Telepathic Bunny signing off. Have a nice day. Tell me what's on your mind.